Hello and welcome to episode 42 of Missinary's Ford Falcon Krusty Wagon Project. Now, this is the bonnetless edition because the bonnet is over there. And the reason the bonnet is over there is because I need to paint the bonnet. Now, it's pretty much fried all the primer I've put onto it ever since I tried to paint it months ago. And so I've just shit canned that until now. So as the car nears completion, I need to get some paint on that bonnet so that it looks less like a crusty wagon and more like a roadworthy wagon. So today is bonnet stripping, priming and top coating day, which will probably happen over the course of a number of days, but uh, as far as you're concerned, it's all going to happen all at once. What I need to do is get all the paint off this bonnet because the paint is frying. I put a coat of primer on this months ago when the car first came home to make it look a little bit more presentable in an effort to sell it to recoup all my money so my project would start from zero rather than from the purchase price of the car but uh, while everybody wanted the grill assembly nobody wanted the bonnet so I hang on to the bonnet and I like these bonnets so it's not a bad thing that I got to keep my GS bonnet so subsequently all of the paint right off it after I attempted to apply primer to it and that's where I've left it so I'm going to just paint strip it and hopefully once the paint is stripped from it I can actually apply some primer to it without it frying off and then uh, top coat so that's my plan okay so I've applied the paint stripper and scraped much as off as I could but there's still a fair amount of stubborn paint remaining so I'm going to use a scotch bright disc to get the rest of it off or at least attempt to so I'll get stuck into that now So it's taken uh, most of the day, but here is the end result. Paint has been stripped off to the best of uh, my ability, at least to, as much as I'm prepared to do. There's a fair amount of surface rust and uh, little divots and patches of rust that I'm going to buff off with that flap disc down there on the floor. It's like a scotch bright flap disc so it will take away all the high spots without leaving any marks in the middle. And then after that I'm going to throw down some, actually after that I'm going to give it a good wash, dry it out and then put down some rust inhibitor. And then I'm going to leave it overnight and I will come back to it tomorrow and hopefully put some uh, primer on it and hopefully the primer sticks this time and I uh, can paint my bonnet And grease remover oh, the uh, bonnet it's time to lay down some rust converter and then wrap this project up for the night because it's almost time for dinner
I wonder why it's turned purple. Did I not rinse that thoroughly enough? It's noon on Sunday and this has had a whole night to cure. As much as you can expect something to cure that's just basically a rust and a bit of coat. And what I think I'll do this afternoon is mask this up. Wax and grease remove any of the dust. Actually, we should sweep the garage out first, shouldn't I? Mask this up. Throw some primer on it and see how it takes the primer without, hopefully it doesn't fry anything. I'm feeling reasonably confident about this since this has gone on so well without uh, any dramas. See if it takes primer. If it takes primer, hopefully we'll be doing some hot coat in the not too distant future. Time for coat number two. I just looked at the data sheet for the primer I'm using, and apparently, you can recoat after five minutes. So, here I was waiting for half an hour. So, after many attempts to uh, lay down some primer with my 20 year old spray gun. It's finally got to the point where I can say that it's satisfactory. Uh, it's got a bit of uh, peel in it and the last couple of coats was pretty sketchy and boy has this bonnet got some character dents in it. So what I'm going to do now is gently sand it with 400 grit and wait until the morning and throw some Neptune blue down on it, hopefully before I go to work. So. That's where I'm at with that, but I really need to retire that spray gun that I've had for 20 years. I just keep trying to get one more job out of it. Maybe this is that last job. Actually, I think I will reply fresh tape to make sure that uh, take the dust away. It's the end of day two and I have the bonnet stripped and in primer. So hopefully tomorrow or throughout the week I will get to throw down some Neptune Blue on this. Now at this point my plan is to Neptune Blue this side, this side and put the rest into white because I want the bonnet to be a kind of a blue with a big white stripe down the middle following the contour of the vents and hopefully that works out because obviously if I air this video and it has a big white stripe down the middle and some nice pinstriping everything has worked out to plan but if something different occurs like it's just entirely blue it's because I've shit canned it and I've taken the easy option just painted the whole thing blue and then said that's it it's done 
put the vents back in, put it back on the car, and wrap it up. But my intention for this so far is to go blue with the big white stripe and some uh, tasteful pinstriping. So hopefully that's uh, aimed for that goal and it works out. Not the next morning, it's the next evening. It's Monday night. And after giving it some thought, I've decided that I should probably go white first and then blue second because you can easily spray blue over white, whereas you really can't spray white over blue very effectively. So I'll go white down the middle and then blue down the sides once the white is sufficiently cured and I can put some tape on it. This could be fraught with disaster, but you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So let's get into that. It's been about 40 minutes since I put this paint on, so that's the first coat, it's looking very uh, matte finish, that's what you get when you buy super cheap white, matte finish all round. So let's smash some more paint onto this and then call it a night. later and the last coat of paint we went onto this bonnet was uh, with extra extra thinner and it has come up a little bit more, bit more glossy than it did initially but the plan is to clear coat this bonnet once the blue goes on so it has got something of a gloss finish on it for a single pack acrylic so I reckon that'll do it's time to get into the masking so I can throw down some of this blue paint that I've got left over. It's been an hour and a half, I 
paint should have uh, sufficiently dried by now. I reckon I'll rip that tape off. And I was pretty heavy handed with the paint and it has gone on in a somewhat sketchy manner because it occurred to me as I finished that I hadn't actually taken the drain plug out of the bottom of my air compressor since I painted the car's entire body blue so it's probably got a bit of moisture in the line and towards the end of the coats a little bit of it came out of the gun in the uh, a whole bunch of bubbles all through the paint which is annoying but uh, this car was never meant to be perfect or even presentable right up close it's always meant to be a 10 meter car so let's get the tape off and see if I actually managed to get this done properly without paint leaking everywhere under the tape tape just there but uh, hopefully the vent covers that and I can just pretend it never happened. That's actually my first attempt at a two-tone panel of any kind. And that uh, super cheap auto tape appears to have worked out pretty well. touch of bleed through there. Well, let's not worry about that. Pretty happy with that. Might put the uh, vents in it and see what it looks like. I won't bolt those vents in just yet. Just want to uh, get an idea of how tidy it looks. I like it. Before I go throwing down some clear coat, what I need to do is get some pinstriping onto this bonnet so I have a bit of a blend between the white and the blue. And a couple of white pinstripes hopefully will make that pop out more effectively. Again, never used pinstriping before. This is the first time I've done this as well as the uh, two-tone panel. How hard could it be? Not really sure if I should throw this down literally an hour and a half after putting the top coat on, but again, you won't know until you try. All right, so there is some water in there. Whoops. I reckon I'll let that sit before I put clear coat on the uh, car. So I'll pick this up tomorrow. Okay, 
So let's have at this and see if I can get this pinstriping down without looking too long. That wasn't that hard. It didn't take that long either. I don't know how good my eye is for that gap, but I think it'll stand the test uh, from 10 meters. So there's the rough draft of the pinstriping. And, uh, it doesn't look too wonky as long as we stand back here. I think that will pass muster. Alright, clear coat time. Okay, summary time for episode 42. Now, as per usual, we find ourselves in front of the Falcon with the bonnet up and the engine bay on display because that's generally how I summarize these things because it's usually engine bay related. But not today. As you can tell, the bonnet is back on after a painstaking episode of scraping, priming, sanding, and painting, and pinstriping, and then clear coating. And it's all done. It's back on the car, and it's somewhat aligned so it doesn't bark any paint off when I close it right down. So there it is! Ta-da! I painted the vents months ago and uh, it's not the best work. It's kind of matte and it's got kind of got marks in it. That's fine. They can stay there for the time being and the rest of the car is very grubby but that's fine too because once I sort the brakes out, I'll be able to get it out of the garage and it'll be, it'll be able to stop safely on the hill outside my garage. So, the next episode, I hope to have the brakes resolved. And then hopefully after that, I can back it into the uh, driveway and do a bit of a walk around. Maybe even wash it. Oh, that'd be great. Sure, the bonnet is a bit battered and bumped, and in hindsight, I probably should have addressed that divot there, but just didn't want to. Once you start on these things and have a red hot go at it, a lot of the times you find it's still not to your satisfaction. So, in going with the battered theme of the car, I'm going to leave all the character dents alone. And maybe one day in the distant, distant future, when the car proves itself not to be a basket case, I will set about making everything right. Well, as right as I can make it 
in my shed. So there you go. White stripe is done. The clear coat I think is probably going to make the rest of my paintwork look a bit average. And that was my first attempt at clear coat on a body panel. And uh, I'm no spray painter. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Under the car, isn't it? It's under the car? Should I go get it? Believe it or not, she's eight.